All right, if you're watching this, it means that hopefully you did your work cited with us as a class. Um, hopefully you've also finished all of your formatting corrections. Um, this one is not, just so that it can all fit on one screen. So it is only single space. But the next thing that I want you to do is go back through your paragraphs and focus just on the verbs, um, making sure that your verbs are as strong as possible. So if you notice in here, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but I've bolded some of the sections where I don't use super great verbs. For example, anything with is or was, those are called being verbs, um, and you want to try to eliminate those. So here where I say Odysseus is forced to face her, um, that would be a place where I would want to improve that because I've got the word is. A way you can fix that is just rephrase it with the same general idea. So I could say Odysseus must face her. Okay, when you change your verbs, I want you to underline them so you can prove to me that you've changed something. Um, and I will let you know in class how many uh, you need to change per paragraph. I'm thinking two. Um, so we'll go with two. You need to improve at least two verbs per paragraph um, from your draft. So that means if you underline one that you think is really good because you're thinking you're going to be smart and save yourself time, um, if I go back to your draft, that verb better not be there. It better be an improvement. Um, another one where I use an is verb is was, right here where I say he was bright enough. Um, so I can fix that by saying he, instead of he was bright enough to use the tools and advantages, he um, wittily applied the tools and advantages given to him in strategic ways. Okay, so it's the same general idea saying he's smart but without using the word was. Um, another thing you can look for other than was or is verbs is look to see if you repeat yourself. When I wrote this paragraph, I didn't even realize it, but I used the word proves twice in a row. I said Atticus proves and then next sentence by proving to the jury. Um, so I'm going to want to uh, change that. So again, one easy way you can do that is if you go to thesaurus.com and I look up proves. We've got a lot of choices. Um, if I, as you can see, Atticus demonstrates. That would be a nice one. Um, so, okay. Um, and then I can keep the other one, but you just don't want to have a bunch in a row. Um, and then same thing, I also didn't realize that I used the word uses uh, a number of times. So he uses all his mental faculties, and then in the next sentence I said, heroes continue to use. So same idea, I would want to fix one of those. Ah. And there, look, I easily just improved three verbs in three minutes. Um, yours might take a little bit longer, but you should be able to do generally the same thing. Um, so. Pick two verbs to improve in all three of your body paragraphs. That means there should be six things underlined.